Hi everyone, Rodrigo here once again for one more Power Query class and today guys I'm gonna show you how to upload multiple files at once in Power Query. So let's do it together. Guys, before we start in Power BI, we have just to create our data source in order to upload all of them at once in Power Queries, okay? So first of all, let's create some data source here. I will put like date and sales. Then I will put the date like 2022 of August, day one. Then I'm gonna just put it this until like 10, 10, 10 lines, 10 rows, okay? And then the sales, so 50,000 here, 40,000 here, 30,000 here, 20,000 here, then 10,000. And then I'm gonna repeat. That's perfect. And then, okay, I have just to finish. So one data source with two columns and 10 rows, okay? Then I will save this one in my project, save as. I will save in my desktop area. <coughs> Let's create a new folder. I will create a new folder, new folder. The folder will be, uh, I'm gonna call it input date data that's perfect and then i will save this one is like sales august i will save like sales august perfect then i'm gonna just close this excel file over here oh let's just move on to other excel let's open a new one the new one with the same column, so date and then sales. But now I will just change the month, okay? So now will be 2022, not August, now September, day one, perfect. And again, I will just move on until the line 10 and then include the sales. I will put 10,000 for everyone. That's perfect. Then I'm gonna save this project, save as in the same folder, but now like sales September, then save, perfect, then close. And then let's move on to the Power BI. So here you have my Power BI, then I will just move on inside to Power Query. How to do that? Just click in here, transform data and transform data again. If you don't know guys how to work in Power Query, just check in our playlist here in YouTube, on YouTube. There is a playlist called ETL with Power Query. There you can see how to start the project in Power Query. There is a video called Power Query for Beginners that I recorded to you in order to help you as beginners to understand how Power Query works and how to develop your first project, right? Then after that, you can just come back here and check this part to include, to upgrade your project, right? Just to start in Power Query, we have just to upload a new project, a new data source. So how to do that? Just click it here, new source in the arrow, and then moving back to more options, okay? When you click once in more option, you see this window appear, then move on to others, not others, sorry, to all, all options and then in the right side you will see this folder as an option so click in here in folder then click in connect okay then you we have just to put it the folder path 
The folder path means that Power BI will go there, the Power Query actually will go there and then collect all our all files or data data sets that we have in this folder path okay or files these files could be text file.csv for example or even excel okay then we click in browse then we have just to select this in our project so i have it here input data is the folder then click in ok button and then ok again then just look at here we can see the both files that power bi found in our folder so the first one sales august the second one sales september i can see the extension as well and then some properties related to these files okay if you see it and check all these files are correct which means that they are with the same structure. This is something very important that you guys have to understand. When you, you use this option, this folder option to input data to your project at once, just check it before if all data source have the same structure, okay? Which means the same columns, the same structure. Otherwise, you have just to uh, input manually each one and then modeling this one to continue in power query right so in my case these both files has the same have the same structure so i will just click in combine and transform data when i click in combine and transform data power query will easily just check it the f sheets in my archive so i have here the list of sheets so as you can see when i create the data source in both data source i use it the same name of the sheet so sheet one this one i want to import then i will click in ok then we have just to wait a little bit because Power Query is uploading. Then after finish, Power Query will show you this information, guys. So here we can check in the results in the window that Power Query just imported the both, both files, okay? With dates and sales. But if I check it, I have some troubles with the sales September file. Why? because Power Query didn't recognize this information as dates. Let me see what happened. Let's fix this together. So we have just to move in, move on, moving back to this apply this step in order to check it, okay? When Power Query did that one, just uh, remove other columns. This is like a process, guys. So first of all, you will see let me explain this uh, before continue with you if you look at to this uh, left side over here there is like a transform file from input data that power query already created this means that they create uh, the power query created some sample file to connect and transform our data in these files over here okay if you check it the first one the first file is the one that Power Query uses as a uh, as sample, as like a, a guide that 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 introduce how to works with these all files over here. This one is the guide, okay? The sample that guide your modeling, your data modeling. So if you change some. Uh, if you included, for example, some steps here, like, okay, I will just erase the sales here. For example, I use it, this removed columns. If you look at to input data, you will have some troubles, but when you check it, the expanded table columns one, Power Query will show you just the date column, okay? Why? It's because this one is the guy that uh, changed everything in this uh, query over here, okay? I have some troubles here because this change type was applied to column sales and then I just removed the sales from the beginning. 
So now I have problems to change the type of the sales. If I want to fix it, this one, I can go to transform sample file here and then just uh, remove this step, putting back the sales column again, and then I can move on to input the data and you will see that sales appeared. Okay. What, what is the process? First of all, Power Query, create a transform sample file, then it connected with the source, data source, with the both files, then filter some informations, then this invoke custom functions means that to connect it with a sample file in order to know what we have to modeling in these files over here, then rename the columns, then remove other columns. So just leave, just left source name and transform file. Then Power Query did something like this one. If you click it in this button, you will see. There is some three options of columns in our files. If you check it here, there is one called date with D without capital letters. And there is another one date with D in capital letter. This is the problem. I have difference between my two files and Power Query just followed the information about this one, this sample guide. So this one, the name of the, the name of the column is date without capital letters. So in September, I have the, I have a problem with capital letters. So that's why Power Query didn't recognize the dates in September. Actually, uh, the software recognized it, but didn't import because in this step over here, expanded table column, uh, the another column wasn't considered. So if you we want to ch to fix it, this problem, there there are two ways. Okay, the first one is to click in this symbol over here and then select the three columns, for example, and then okay again, then insert step. So at this time, I created this expanded transform file with all columns. Then I have just to uh, create some formulas in order to concatenate these two, two fields in only one. Okay. But there is another way to fix it that, that, I, that it's better for me. It's one that I can just fix it the wrong information. So I will move on to my September archive, September file. Then I will change the name of the column here for D without capital letters, without capital letter. And then I will close this September. I will turn it back to my Power Query and then I will click on this refresh preview. Now, as you can see, guys, we have all dates together and also we have the both files. This guy will works in how many files you use in your folder. If you included more files in your folder, this file will appear over here uh, below the September because there is an automatic connection with Power Query and the folder, not with the files. So that's how Power BI works in order to import multiple files at once. Okay. So guys, you see, it's easy to import multiple files in Power Query at once. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. Don't forget to give us your thumbs up and also share the content with your friends, with your parents, whatever. Okay. So let's increase our community here on YouTube. Okay. Our Power Query community here on YouTube. Okay. So see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.